Hello everyone. Wuthering Heights is one of the most famous novels in English literature. As you can see this family tree, the story of the first generation, Henry and Catherine of the Anshu family, Edgar and Isabel of the Lento family, and halfway through the novel was the death of Catherine. And the second half is centered on their children. But why was the story of the second generation written? Today, I'll explain this mystery. First, let's look at Emery Blonde. Emery is the second daughter of the Blonde sisters. Her older sister is Charlotte Blonde, who wrote Jane Eyre. Emery refuses to reveal her identity to the public until the end. So she published Wuthering Heights anonymously under the name Alice Bell. The novel was Gothic Romance, which was minor at the time. Emery caught a cold at her brother's funeral, which led to her contracting tuberculosis, and she died at the age of 30. Wuthering Heights is written in almost the same amount of first and second generations. Mr. Anshu picks up an unidentified homeless child and decides to name him his grief and raise him. His own son Hindry hates his grief and after Mr. Anshu's death, takes his grief as his servant and breaks up his relationship with Catherine. Catherine loves his grief, but she marries Edgar to follow her brother's plot. His grief disappears and returned, returns three years later as a rich gentleman. Catherine suffers between her husband and his grief and dies giving birth to her daughter Catherine. And his grief starts to revenge everyone. This first generation story is the main part of the movies, and the second generation story is sometimes omitted or considered by critics to be the failed part. Why was the story of the second generation written? The key person is his grief, who becomes a revenge demon. After Catherine gets married, his grief reappears before her, and Catherine can no longer stand the status quo, unleashing the falling line. The thing that arcs me most is this shattered prison, after all. I'm tired, tired of being enclosed here. She realized that she could not be united in this life. She wished for her own death and sought to gain spiritual freedom through death. His grief also loved Catherine intensely, but he did not choose to follow her to death like Romeo and Juliet. He says, Catherine Alsho, may you not last as long as I'm living. Be with me always. Take any form, drive me mad. His grief would live on in a soul dead state for the next 18 years. I would say that the second generation story of these 18 years is the most important part of this novel. His grief takes all the properties of the Anshul and Linton families, corrupts Henry, and makes his son a sovereign. He makes Hareton to experience the same sufferings he has experienced. His grief has almost achieved his revenge after all these years, but seeing Hareton and Catherine II make love like he and Catherine once did, his grief loses the will to continue his revenge. And for the first time, he wishes to die himself. 
The second generation make his grief realize that he can't fight fate and awaken his grief. They annihilate his grief, who has turned into a vengeance demon, and make him and Catherine united forever. I believe this is the most fascinating scene for readers, so the second generation plays the important role. Thank you for watching. Next is Jane Austen's Secrets to Marriage. See you there.